Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in the holiday spirit. Um, I love the holidays. And as you can tell from the title of this video, it is holiday based. We're talking about how to stay healthy and how to stay fit during the holidays. I don't know about you, I love to eat. I'm drinking a little bit more because Coquito and eggnog are definitely my favorite drinks during the holidays. I'm doing mad shopping and spending money and I'm not in the gym because I'm probably in the mall. Like I am doing the most. So, if you're like me, and you do the most, this video is probably for you. Let's get into it. Tip number one, plan your healthy meals around your cheat meals, or try intermittent fasting. I would say number one, meal prep. That's the easiest way to plan your healthy meals around your cheat meals. But let's say you don't have time for that, because I know that I don't. Plan healthier meals around your cheat meals by making healthier choices. So if you're ordering lunch, instead of getting fried chicken, get grilled chicken. If you are on the go and you're out with your friends, instead of grabbing Burger King, grab a salad. You know, make healthier choices like that. Um, same thing when you're packing your snack. When you're going to the mall and you're going shopping, you're starting to get really hungry, um, instead of grabbing a pretzel, grab trail mix. Those are simple ways to plan your healthy meals around your cheat meals. Um, or you can try something like intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is not starving yourself all the way until you're gonna have your cheat meal. It's cycling blocks of eating and fasting. So you can do this even on days when you're not going to a holiday party or when you know it's not Christmas dinner. There are different ways to do it, but this is a popular one where you fast for 16 hours and you eat only during a period of eight hours so basically from the time you go to sleep you skip breakfast and then you start your first meal at noon so from noon until 8 p.m which would be your last meal you're not eating but intermittent fasting is definitely in another way of kind of controlling your meals um without starving yourself and then overindulging at the end of the evening or at lunch or something like that tip number two drink a lot of water if you don't drink any water at all first of all you're playing but really up your water game. Um, like I said, you're eating a lot and you're probably drinking a little bit more than you typically would. Really, really, really do your best to carry a bottle of water. I keep a water bottle in my car. I have a water bottle in my bag. I keep a water bottle on my desk. I keep a water bottle next to my bed. Like I really try to drink a lot of water. Um, and plus it's mad good for your skin and hair. So you should be drinking a lot of water. Tip number three, don't skip your workouts. Um, if you can't make it to the gym for your typical time, like I usually, I'm in the gym for about an hour and a half to, to two hours. I don't have time to be in the gym like that, um, usually during the holidays. So I either will do a quick workout in the gym, um, usually limit to about 30 to 45 minutes, or I'll do a 30 minute workout at home. High intensity interval training is a really, really good fat burner. I know it's mad hard to get into the gym, but if you can get to the gym and you know you don't have a lot of time, try and focus on doing power moves that are going to target most of your body as opposed to just one body part. I find that home workouts are a little bit easier for me to do. I have actually linked two sample workouts that my trainer provided me with for a 30 minute workout for the gym and a 30 minute workout um, for home. So if you guys want to try it out, um, you know, and use it for the holidays or at least, you know, over the course of the year when you know you don't have time, I would definitely suggest going to my blog and checking that out and I'll have that linked in the description box below. Tip number four, stay active while you're working. Um, I know that during the holidays I'm pushing out tons and tons of content. I'm usually either sitting at my desk, typing away at my computer or sitting here filming a video. I'm not getting up as much or I'm on a conference call. So I would, so during those times, um, at least in between videos, I am trying to get up, you know, walk around, do stuff when I'm blogging. I'm trying to get up, walking up and down the stairs, um, walk around the block, do something that's going to get your blood flowing. Um, and it's going to get your heart rate up because that's going to help burn fat. When you're on conference calls at your desk, do some squats. Never hurts to do some squats. Do some jumping jacks, do a little jump rope, things like that. Even if you do it for a few minutes, it makes a difference. Tip number five, find yourself an accountability partner. Find yourself a gym partner. Find yourself someone who's gonna tell you you need to get in the gym. Um, I know that me and my boyfriend always talk about being in the gym. He, he does keep me accountable for at least staying active, as is my trainer. I would recommend downloading this app called Group Fit. Um, it's an app that my friend came up with and it's a community-based app and basically it helps you find um, part, workout partners, workout groups. So Group Fit is a really cool app to keep help you keep yourself accountable and 
you can use it beyond the holidays. All of these tips are super, super helpful during the holidays and they're things that you can carry on into the rest of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you use any of these tips, if you have any other tips that you would recommend. Thumbs up this video if you really, really like it. And happy eating, happy staying healthy, happy holidays. 